Okay, now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Hey, what's up guys? This is me, Jimkin Vanilad, and I am your buddy for today. In this video, I will be tackling about optical instruments. What are these things? How does it work? And what images can we see in this particular optical instruments? But before that, let's define what is optical instruments first. An optical instrument can either be described as the processor of light waves to enhance an image for viewing or the analyzer for light waves to describe one of a number of characteristics property. Because of this, optical instruments maybe can be used as magnifiers or an image cl clarifier. So let's begin! In this video, I will be tackling three optical instruments. First is the eyeglasses. The second is the binocular. And the third one is the video camera. The first optical instrument that I will tackling about is the eyeglasses. This uh, that I wear. Eyeglasses is the most common form of eyewear used to correct or improve many types of many vision problems. Eyeglasses are a frame that holds two pieces of glass or plastic which has been ground into lenses to correct refractive errors this may be simple but if you wear it the magic comes on refractive errors may include myopia the nearsightedness hyperopia the farsightedness and the astigmatism there are many types of refractive errors right there but i will be talking a tree for this video so what is myopia hmm. myopia is a refractive error that the person can see clearly what things that are near can far how why is it because the light arriving at the eye lens may converge to a point in front of a retina so we're finished at myopia hmm. how about the hyperopia the hyperopia goes the opposite. The person can see what things that are far rather than things that are near. Why is it? This is because the light ray from the object in front of the eye focuses the incoming light at a point behind the retina. So for the last refractive error which is the stigmatism. Sounds very difficult word right? But then it can be defined as simple as this out of focus whether near or far far or near all things are blurred it's because the cornea of our eye is not that round that causes the light entering into our eye focus in, not into one point but focus scattered so how does a glasses work in myopia will be the diverging or concave lens. This is because the diverging effect relocate, redirect the light rays to get the image focused on the retina. In hyperopia, we'll be needing converging or convex lens. It is because converging lens help to compensate for the defective vision. And for the astigmatism, it needs doctor's prescription. It is because doctors know how to correct eye vision with astigmatism. In conclusion, eyeglasses is a optical instrument that is used to correct eye vision. There are many types of refractive errors, so we use different types also of lens in a form of eyeglasses in order to compensate or correct eye vision with the said refractive error. And so, let's move on to the second phase. For the second optical instrument that I will be introducing to you, it will be the binocular. Okay. 
Binoculars or field glasses are two telescopes mounted side by side and aligned to point in the same direction, allowing the viewer to use both eyes when viewing distant objects. Most are sized to be held using both hands, although sizes vary wildly from opera glasses to large pedestal mounted military models. I got only one question with these binoculars. Why does, when I look into the eyepiece, I can see 500 yards away from here? Hmm, how does it work? Thinking that the binocular had numerous lenses and two prisms, let's be reminded about the image produced by the convex lens, which is an inverted image. And we use concave lens so that to rotate the certain inverted image into a real image. So let's go on. First, light rays enter on our binocular through the objective lens and the objective lens which is a convex lens rotate the image upside down and left to right. Then, a system of prisms placed in right angle to one another reverses the path of our ray but also reverses the image. The same way as the objective lens. Consequently, we can see an image in upright in nature with the help of concave lens. Now let's move on to the last phase of our optical instrument, which is the video camera. A video camera is a camera used to make electronic motion pictures. It captures moving images and synchronous sounds. Early video cameras were all analog and most modern ones are digital. Analog video cameras produce signals that can be displayed with analog televisions. The signal can be shown at a time or can be stored in an analog format on magnetic tape. Digital cameras produce digital images. First, light passes to the camera to a set of lenses and onto a mirror. From there, light bounces up into a five-angle shaped glass called a pentaprism. Once light enters the pentaprism, bounces around in a complicated way until it passes to the eyepiece and enters your eye. When you press the button on the camera, the mirror flips up on no way. Instead of bouncing in the pentaprism, light from the image passes directly back to the camera. There, it hits photographic film and starts the chemical reaction to have an image in a film. And so, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I've shared three things already. Then, I hope, guys, you have learned a lot from me. Thank you. And God bless.